Hi everybody, Lauren with Remine here. Today I'm going to walk you through how to apply filter layers onto our map. All right, let's get started. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to make sure you're going from this daily tab when you first log in down to the search tab over here on the left hand side in this navigation bar. Once you're in the search tab, you should see a big map pull up on your screen. Across the top, you're going to see filters horizontally here, and then you're going to see filters vertically down the left hand side. So just to give you guys a little bit of background, any filter across the top bar here horizontally, that's all data that's pulling from your MLS. So what if it's um, status, active, pending, closed, canceled, uh, list price, list date, bedroom, bathroom count, things of that nature, it's all going to be present up here across the top. And this is again pulling any data that has been input into your MLS. Down the left hand side here, all of these filters, these filters are all of your filters provided to you from Remine. So whether it's public record data or our own algorithms, this is all searching Remine's data. You can use just Remine's filters, you can use just MLS filters, or you can go in combination with the two of them. So I'm just going to show you a really common search so you get an idea of how to search different filters. So we're going to go down here. I'm in, I live in the Fairfax area, so I'm going to go, let's go over here on the map a little bit. And then the first thing that you want to do is you want to define the area that you want to search. So you have a couple different options. One, you can just search what's in your field of view on the screen. If you zoom in or zoom out, that number is going to change depending on what you're looking at. You can type in a zip code and it will draw the zip code boundaries for you, or you can draw your own boundary lines using these drawing tools up here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw, let's just go, we're going to pick a big area. So I'm going to search all of this and then close out the loop to finish your boundary line. So we're now looking at a ton of results. This is 450,000 results within these boundaries I just drew. If I wanted to, I could search MLS data and I could go into listing status and I could just look for active. You're going to click on the filter and you'll see up here it will automatically apply and we're now looking at over 3000 results that are active on the market in those boundary lines that I just drew. To get rid of that filter, I can come in here and click the X or I can select clear all filters. But keep in mind, if you select clear all filters, it's also going to get rid of that polygon that you overlaid. So if I just want to get rid of one, best practice is just click the X on active. Next, after that, another thing that we can do is we can use the Remind data to kind of geofarm this area and see if there's any people we might want to prospect to. So a good thing to look for is we can come in and say, all right, I want ownership time. So I'm going to click on ownership time and then I can either select the buckets of how much I want them to have owned the home or how, excuse me, how long I want them to have owned the home or I could do a minimum and maximum. So today we're going to do a minimum seven years, maximum 12 years, apply, and that bumps me down to, let's see, from 450 results it's going to take us down to Give it a second to load. So that takes us down to about 85,000 results. On top of that, another thing that you can do is you can come in and say, all right, I want them to, let's say, go up one more. Let's say we want them to all be single family homes. I'm just looking to market to single family. So I'm gonna click on single family right here, apply. That bumps me down to 45,000 results. And then last but not least, I'm gonna do an analytic cell score. So an analytic cell score is Remind's best guess at when someone's going to sell their home. Keep in mind, this is not the holy grail. This is not 100% correct. 
This is our best guess. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to select analytic sell score. I'm going to do high. High means highly likely to sell their home in the next six months to a year. Apply. And that bumps us down to 1,191 results. So we took a farm area of 450,000 properties and we narrowed it down to 1,191 by overlaying filters. Again, if you wanted to start fresh, and let's say you wanted to start over, you're just gonna hit this clear all filters button, or please refer to our add properties to a cart to go through how to save these properties. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.